Hello guys, today I am at a Nexa showroom in Noida and I am going to be reviewing the Maruti Suzuki Ignis. So let's go inside and check how is the petrol automatic variant of the Ignis. So let's go inside. So here is my review of the automatic Zeta variant of the Ignis. I, I have it in blue color. So I'll just first show you the car, how is it to look at. It has got these shiny black alloy wheels which look very sporty. The design of this hatchback is very different. We have never seen something like this before. So this particular variant gets parking sensors also. And the rear of the car reminds us of some uh, retro styling. They have quite a lot of style elements too. Like here you see these fins type of a thing. It's got smart entry too. Turn indicators on outside rear view mirrors. And these are the specifications. So the Ignis is powered by 1.2 litre VVT engine which produces 81 PS of power and a 1.3 litre DDI engine which is a Fiat source engine which produces some 73 PS of power. Here are the dimensions of the car. So now the front of the car how it looks. So, uh, it's a mix of retro and modern styling. And they have a lot of chrome here. They have, Suzuki has used a lot of chrome. And Indians love chrome. Yes, we do love chrome. Some styling over here looks good too. So I'm now just gonna go and check the boot space. How's the boot space? So here is the boot space and uh, it's not a lot, uh, I was expecting a bit more. It can only take a suitcase, it can only take one suitcase and here they have the spare wheel which is not an alloy uh, since it's not the top end variant. Even in the top you don't get the spare wheel as a alloy. It is a steel wheel, normal steel wheel. So I think that the interior space uh, is pretty good because they have cut down on boot space. So now I'll just go inside. Okay, so now I'm inside the car and very interesting things I'm seeing here. Like I've never seen before such things from Suzuki before. And uh, through Nexa dealerships, they try to, you know, capture the higher segment market. So they are uh, uplifting their image. So this is the, again, I would like to tell you, this is the Zeta variant, Zeta petrol variant and automatic variant of this car is only available in the Zeta variant and this is the automatic one here you have the gearbox and uh, so uh, you have your power socket over here and your USB and aux connectivity and that's very essential nowadays 
and your manual AC although it doesn't look very good but still it's okay in the top end variant you get a automatic AC and here you have your hazard light and you do get a multimedia infotainment system like a music system tuned in music system with bluetooth and i don't know uh, if i if it would switch on no it won't so here we can see that it has bluetooth it has auxin and usb and uh, let me check the storage the storage is good and they have owner's manual and service booklet and so we see too. Okay, so the dash is very good and sporty. This is the instrument cluster and it even gets a MID over here. Multi information display for everything like trip, meter and your fuel consumption and all that. The good thing is that uh, Maruti has done a very good job when it comes to safety. All the variants, be it the base or the middle or the top end variant, comes with two airbags and ABS with EBD. So that's a big step up. Auto dimming mirror is missing. Vanity mirror over here is missing. And moving over here, you have some your light controls. Oh, it, it has even got a start stop button, which has been placed very, very uh, oddly, I would say, because I, as I entered, I could not see the start stop button over here and nor over here, it's, it's hidden over here. So a very odd place for the start stop button. You do get electronically adjustable uh, outside rear view mirrors and your power windows. One thing I don't get is that uh, why Suzuki is not offering the power window buttons with light. Because you know as you pay more you expect more detailing in your car. So even if you... Uh, for let's say S cross the top of the line model under the Nexa dealership even it has the same button so and even the Wagner so my point is that they should uh, give some attention to details and here you have your handbrake and your glove box or say center arm uh, is missing center arm wrist you do have a cup holder over here some interesting bits is like this metal finished grab handle looks very solid and the quality I would say is good too but uh, a little bit inconsistent and uh, here you if you can see you again have that design pattern which I just showed you outside so they have tried to make it very 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 premium and uh, very good so here you have your music controls and Bluetooth and telephone controls and you don't get a okay here wiper controls and your light controls so it has airbag too so it comes with four speakers and two tweeters and uh, the top of the line Ignis also gets daytime running lights with projector headlamps which is uh, new for this segment so I'll just go to the back seat and check out how's the rear of the car how's the second row of the car I'll just show you so it's time for me to just go to the second row and check out that how's the space so I'm just going inside and here I am so I would say that uh, since the design is a tall boy design it gets a lot of headroom I have a lot of headroom over me and uh, uh, it can seat three although it's not a very 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 uh, you see uh, 
very comfortable back seat but it's okay i think under thigh support is missing uh, i would have liked some more under thigh support and i'm 511 but still i feel okay here because the headroom is good and the quality of fabric is uh, is uh, decent too and uh, the rear parcel tray the good thing is they don't have speakers on the rear parcel tray uh, that puts you know that that doesn't look very good the speakers are on the rear doors and you have chrome handles on this particular variant and uh, I'll just show you the dashboard from the rear how it looks so this is how it looks so if you opt for the top end variant alpha variant uh, it will come with a manual gearbox and not with an automatic gearbox and also it will get a TFT touchscreen infotainment system over here and a automatic AC over here and some other more features so Ignis so the floor is not very flat so uh, the middle passenger would have to sit like this and you don't have enough space that you can you know keep your legs over here because you you see this is uh, taking some space over here so uh, it's good for two adults and a kid the rear seat so this video i have made of the top of the line manual alpha variant which is the top of the line variant of the suzuki ignis so i'm just gonna show you the exteriors and here you see they have this dual color treatment you get these red treatments over here and on the fog lamps over here and you get the same thing on the roof over here and here too there's a beautiful red line red or orange line kind of a color going all the way to the back and so the changes to the rear includes this thing this thick chrome lining on the top end variant this was missing in the automatic variant if you remember so not a lot of visual changes but still and this spoiler too this sporty spoiler at the back looks very good and so the ignis guys if you liked my video then do subscribe to my channel i would be reviewing a lot more cars in coming days and uh, you can tell me uh, what which car do you want to see next but uh, do subscribe like and share it would help my channel and it would uh, help me record more cars and bring more content to you guys so till next time adios